time like ever I'm actually nicely dressed for a video which I know is probably not good like I should be nicely dressed for every video like every other youtuber in the world is but you know what Who has time for that Welcome back to my channel. I know you probably won't watch all the way through this, but today I'm giving you a bookshelf tour. This is my, my bookshelves, and yeah, I'm going to be showing you these bookshelves, every book, and my opinion on it. The bookshelves are actually not that big. It's just me. I talk too much. The reason I say it's me is because I talk, talk, I could rant for hours. Speaking of ranting, let's get on to this video because I know I'm going to start talking. <laughs> Non-stop. Let's go. Oh gosh. I'm tangled up in my dress. Oh. Not the best lighting here, but deal with it. Okay. First... That was really mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, this is the first books on my shelf. Well, in the way we're going. But this is the series of unfortunate events. I feel like everybody has these. Um, I figured them from a friend. Uh, he said he really liked them. So I picked them up. And I did really like them. Even though they made me stress one. Every time I finished one, I would literally start hyperventilating and wanting to go on to the next one because it ended on a cliffhanger. But... Other than that, I loved it because, um, you know, it was, it was a good series and it ended actually really well. If it had ended badly, and it's so funny, I love how chaotic this series is, okay? I'm going to read you the first line of this book. If you have ever peeled an onion... That is the first sentence in this book, and I just think, he went way different. He didn't follow anybody's rules. I love the way he writes, like, he just, he starts ranting like me and being um, telling a whole of his story, and then he connects that story to the book in such a good way that it's just like, whoa. So I definitely like this series, and I would recommend it for you. How am I? My wrist hurts. But yeah. On top of the books is this. Let me bring it up here. My painting. And yeah. It's a painting. But pretty much. This. Uh, matches something else on the shelf. Which I don't know if you've seen it yet. Did you see it? Did you see it? Yeah, I, I'm sure you've seen it. But. This, it's butterflies. I did it with the same colors as the other thing, which I'm just gonna show you real quick. Here, I'll show you it closer in just a minute. It's a birdhouse and it keeps these two books on the side. Books on the sides. Up. Anyway, then I have this antique doll with glass. Because this is a little place that I set up like next to the antique doll which not gonna lie it kind of creeps me out but this is the little area we have it's just some of my shock and things and i decided to put the bookshelf up here and stuff so yeah the next books we have is raggedy ann books um, i've had these since i was like five or something but yeah they're really cute I remember, I don't think I have all of them. I don't remember when I got them. And they're just pretty old and they're my childhood. Oh, wait. I still am in childhood. But, you know, like, child, childhood. Okay. Anyway, moving down. You have to move down, too. Hmm, this is a cool book. I'm going to ask Mom if I can do that this year. This is very awkward. Okay. The next books we... The next books we have is <laughs> you 
here, these are the magic animal books. I got them from Ollie's for like $2. Not sponsored. Um, where was I? These are all the cat ones. I have most of the cat ones out of all of them when I want to get different, like a bunch of different ones, but yeah. Um, I have dog, bunny, horse, and then I have my Christmas ones over here. And, oh, Ireland texted me. And I, oh, she texted me again. The, over here is the Christmas one, so I have this special edition. This is my special edition one, and it's the Magic Reindeer. It's hardback, shiny, Christmas, beautiful, and I hope that was really annoying. I think there might be a bunny Christmas one, but I don't know. I This tree house, which actually only holds some of my bookmarks. I have the rest of my bookmarks in like a little box at my desk, but... Yeah, there's bookmarks in there, and then I have this little elephant statue. It's not much. I I want to, like, paint some details on it. But I don't know. I just put it over here on the shelf. I don't even know where I got it, so. Yeah, and then over here is some more books. Yes, I did switch the camera around because over there is kind of hard filming. But, and this one is the Cupcake Diary series. And for me, this is not my favorite. They said a bad word in it. And also, it's really only about middle school drama. And I don't know. I didn't really like this series. I kind of did. But, I don't know. It just wasn't my thing. It was middle school drama stuff. So, yeah. Mmm shelf is this one it's magic animal friends and i do have um wait never mind i thought i missed one but no i didn't um i think i only have to hear which is about a fox i want to get more of these because they're so oh wait yeah i am missing one one the first one i think is downstairs somewhere but these are such cute books and i would definitely recommend them so if you'd like to find some cute easy books to read then these are what I don't read these books anymore but yeah these are still pretty cute books I'll probably go and like read them for a 24 hour challenge like give this video a big thumbs up if, bleh, bleh, if you'd like to see me reading all these in one day because I think I could do that I think I think I could do that um next I have palace pets which pretty much this is about if you don't know what palace pets are they're these little things there's also I also have some of the figures in this little box. I have a bunch of the minifigures, so like, wait. This one goes to this one, so like, you know. Yeah. You know what? There. That was really unnecessary. This is one of my sister's, Lo Lorai, my sister's favorite series. One of them, I think. I think this is like the only series she's read. So yeah, her favorite series, and it's the Owl Diary series. I have, we have, I don't know where the seventh one and the ninth one is, but okay then. But yeah, um, first books I have are these Kaya books, which are the American Girl Doll series, you know? You know that, yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah. But yeah, there's that, and then right here is one of my favorite horse books, but I'll show you my horse favorite ones. These are the Starlight Animal Rescue series. They're super good. You have to read them. I actually started reading this. I don't even remember if I finished it or not, but I want to. This one almost brought me tears. I love it. You have to read it. It's pretty tiny. Not like like in size, but not like in how thick it is. But it's so good. Next I have It's Raining Cupcake. Uh um so the light just fell on me. Ah, it fell. Anyway, as I was saying, it's raining cupcakes. It's pretty much about this little girl who opens a cupcake shop. It was pretty cute, not one of my favorites though. And then I have Cinderella the Junior novel. It's cute. I read it like three times, I think. It's really cute and easy. The Third Summer and the Valley of Tears. Okay, let me rant. Guys, it's ranting time. I just need to have a little sign in the corner. You know what? There we go. That's my ranting time sign. Yes. It's ranting time, guys. These two books... I have this problem with another book. I get like two chapters into it and then just stop. I don't even want to read it anymore. I don't know why... But they like put me in a reading slump or something. I had this other book. It was like this wolf book or something. But she, I started reading it. Got like 
one chapter, like five pages or one chapter, or you know the chapter might be five pages. Um, but I got like five or one chapter in, and just dropped it. And it's the same with these. I can't get myself into these. So comment on my discussion if you've ever had this problem before and if you did how did you get over it my thing is just do it and make your it really enjoyable but i don't know i don't know how do you deal with it i think time is over let's go on to the next book the next ones we have is my favorite horse series ever this is phantom stallion guys guys Guys, 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 guys. I love this series so much. Phantom Stallion is the best horse books you will ever read. I promise. Maybe. Whatever. But I love them. They are so well written. I actually want to read these. Like, right now. Anyway, oh, and I have two of the first ones. Um, I think my sister had some, and then I got a bunch for Christmas. But I only have the first third ones. Three, first three Phantom Stallion books. And look at how... This is loving damage, okay? I love them. Uh, I think my favorite is... Um, I really like the second one. But I like all of them. Anyway, my fa my sister's favorite is the island one. I ha I've only read the first one and like the second one, I think. So, yeah. And then I have 11, 18, and 13. I want to read them, but these books are ones that you have to read in order to get what's going on. So, I want to get the fourth, fifth, and sixth one, or maybe just the rest so I can read them. Then I have one of the heartbreak... Wild Horse Creek ones. This is my, like, third favorite series, I guess. It's about two twins who live on a farm and go help their grandpa and grandma because the grandpa and grandma are getting old and they can't take care of the farm. They have one farm hand that helps them out, but they still need help. So, yeah, this is a good series, too. These two series, you need to read them. Um, and then I have three of my favorite horse series ever it's about this little girl who wants a horse i can relate and then she gets one and it's a christian series so she's praying in it and stuff and then god answers her prayers but yeah i don't know where the um, i think it's the first i th i'm missing like the first one or the third one oh i'm missing the third one i don't know where it is but i want to find it then I have these same, same, same. I can't get into them just like those. I need to put these, the ones I can't get into, like in one place and be like, you have to read these right now. But anyway, over here is all my animal arc books. And these are a really good series. I would definitely recommend them. And I got all these books off of eBay for like $24. Like all of these. So good deep. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I really didn't want this series to end, but it did. I'm working on her other series. It, the Dragons of the Valley one is downstairs. I'm reading right now. Um, I'm not getting that too much in it, into it, but I think that's why because I'm just attached to this series. It's a little bit of different writing. Like, I didn't... It's kind of different, but... These are all the dragon books I have. This one I'm not old enough to read. Ivy said it's... It was an inappropriate part of it, so... I can't read that yet, but I can read all of these, and I have read all those besides this one. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Okay, let's just say this. This is the random shelf. This is just a random assortment of books that I don't know what to do with. I have Johnny Tremaine. I actually have the hardback one over there. Dandelion Fire, Anna Green Gables, The Door Before... And these two books. And then I have a scary stories book. Like, this is the most random assortment of books I've ever seen. Down here is a book stand, which actually is not even holding books up. Like, what's the purpose of that? And then I have this little monkey that I got for the 4th of July, so I named it July. And then I have the Wrinkle in Time series, almost. I don't have the fifth one. Guys, this looks like a Christian allegory. Look, there's an angel, and in the back there's an ark. There's an arc. So I think this is an allegory series, I'm pretty sure. They said the movie, they made it all about the magic. But I really think the books are showing the, like, the, um, 
backstory of the Bible behind it. But this one, this one's like old tiny, and the words are tiny, and, but yeah. What is all of these? Are these books that she's read? Ooh, I want to read. <gasps> that one sounds cool. I want to read these. Oh, wait a minute. So there's The Wrinkle in Time. I got it because I really wanted to read it, but come with me. This is the other Wrinkle in Time book. We already had a copy and my mom didn't know it, but look at how different. So these are the two that we have. So we have this one and this one. They're both really cool. I don't know, I kind of like this one better. I like the color scheme of it, but I like this one too. But look at this one. Lorelei, Lorelei, Lorelei. I think I saw a black widow spider on our bed. A black widow spider on our bed? Oh, the bed that's awful. Did it make a, like, a cave in there? No, it was, it's like tiny, but mom said they can get really small. But she said there was a, it's supposed to have a red thing on it. I didn't see it because I looked at it and then turned around and it was gone. The mysterious disappearing spider. Okay, let's go back to the video. Look, we already had a copy of The Wrinkle in Time. Whoa. I know. Cool Look at it. I'm putting it on the shelf because all the rank, like the mm. books. We should just do a vlog together sometime. Not today because yeah. mom said I have to get off the phone soon. But yeah. anyway, there's that. Anyway, let's get this book stand out of the way so I can show you what's under. I have my book notebook, which I don't really use that much. I need to, but then I have fairy animals. I've read this one. This one I really need to read. It's my sister. She got it for, what'd you get it for? Which one? Oh yeah, she, mom just got it at my case for us because yeah. she's a wonderful mother and she's amazing and she's all, I, I almost said she's awful. No, I mean she's awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm evil. But yeah, there's that. Last shelf, hidden in the shadows, are two elephants, Blue Ellie. Purple Ellie. But yeah. And that is my whole shelf. My whole shelf. And I have lots of good books. And now after doing that tour, tour, I really want to read every book on my shelf. So. Wait a minute. Let me check something real quick. I'm going to check if these are the same. Like the, the, the start. Okay. Last check. Eh. Oh, no, that's not. That's not start. Never mind. It was a dark and stormy night. and stormy night. That's the first words. Okay, let's see this one. Well. Come on, where is it? Oh! It was a dark and stormy night. Okay, so is it the same? Or is it a little bit different? Yep. At the foot, I <laughs> I never noticed that. But yeah, these are the same, just different covers, but I do like them, so. This is a really small sneak peek for a video that's coming up in about 13 days. I'm not showing you completely what this is because it's very special. Yes, this is another announcement for the surprise video that's coming up very soon. Look forward to it. It's gonna be coming out on like September, <laughs> get out <laughs> 16th or something just how how long I need to edit it and stuff but it's coming out very soon and I cannot wait I, I cannot wait but yeah that's my new I did a sneak peek announcement like two months ago but here is another announcement if you've not been here that 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 announcement was like a long time ago so um if you remember that from a video then yeah but this is another announcement hey i'm so excited i am pumped i'm so excited yeah yeah, yeah. what what okay yeah
I hope Jack Rogers has been on the Moves Attic. Subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up, and turn on your notifications. <laughs> she knew it was coming. And share this video around the world. <laughs> um. Uh. Duh, um. Duh. Yeah. I hope you like watching this video on the Moves Attic. What if I talk like that all the time? People leave. Anyway, I hope Jack has been. People, I mean, I hope Jack watched this video on Emily's attic. Bye. This coming up is gonna be super fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as you. I hope you enjoyed the other video. I've never done anything like this before on video, so I hope that you guys will enjoy it. But that's coming up soon. It's not coming up yet. It's coming up. And like September like 16th I think so look forward to that for me it's gonna be in 13 days but why don't I do that yeah <laughs> yeah thank you for watching and I cannot wait for that video Anna's just staring at me anyway yeah <laughs> Comment on my discussion what you think the video is because... Mm -hmm.